All right, so this is a video I was going to make anyways, but then I seen uh, Vegetable Police. I saw this video. He kind of did everything that I was going to do for me. So let's get started. This is just going to be reacting to carnivore diet. Ironically, he is now on the carnivore diet, even though he's talking against the carnivore diet here. So take that as it is. A couple things here that you might not have looked or fit healthy. Looks good. Yep. Oh, oh. Dun, dun, dun. Not so healthy, is he? Blocked arteries. Yeah, there you, you go. Three completely go. blocked arteries. This is what I was talking about before. When people come on to this carnivore, you might look healthy like this guy right here. And I actually used to deal with this when I did insurance work, like life insurance work, because everybody who gets over a certain amount of life insurance, you have to get your blood work and physical and blah, blah, blah. And I was shocked at how many people that I would see that would look like this who would fail the medical. And I'm like, what? So then when I see this, I, it, 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 like, I didn't really think about this stuff back then because I was on a keto carnivore life back in those days. <clears throat> but then you look at this. She's on a carnivore diet. He did all the right things. He was fasting. No seed oil. I said the right thing. Jesus fasted for religious purposes, man. Not to get the keto body. Was doing the cardio, lifting weights. So How would you know? Down. Like... Heart disease is the <laughs> silent kill. So we got, <clears throat> what does it say? 95% blocked or whatever. My widow maker was 95% blocked. 95%. Pritikin talked about this. If you, if you had, didn't see that uh, review that I did about uh, Pritikin diet, uh, there's two books that I reviewed. He talked about most people by the time they're like 20 or 21, at least minimally have like 20 to 25% blockage in their arteries of their heart. And a lot of people are actually up to 75%. It's crazy. Killer, you can look so healthy. So like a lot of us like base our diets on how people look following them. So, okay, this guy is carnivore. He looks so great and healthy and handsome. I'm gonna follow that diet. Oh, how come you haven't? And then he doesn't even take his own advice, vegetable please here. And now he's back on carnivore told me that your arteries are clogged and your penile dysfunction is is legit like that shit is legit disrupting my wedding how come you didn't say that point is i think the science is pretty clear that meat saturated fat cholesterol all that stuff contributes to heart disease maybe he should watch his own videos telling you here's an example doing a low carb diet has nothing to do with somebody having success because even that i find very subjective because almost nobody wants to look vulnerable online exactly and this is why it takes so much heat because they're like you're still fat you're still fat you know why would we listen to you i know you lost 150 pounds but you know like, it's ridiculous what problems that they've gone through here's the thing though like your thing doesn't work when you're on keto very well right like you don't know what size is going to be from day to day if you've got uh, a regular and like you don't know like and or if it's even going to get up or like if, how bad you stink or like the insomnia or puking up stomach acid or all the other like going bald all the other things that are attributed with it i mean when i started having really bad muscle cramps i didn't talk about it in my videos years ago, I mean, energy energy oh, muscle cramp oh, oh. <laughs> and i had them really bad and i just like i was so worried to turn people off, and I really didn't understand electrolytes at that point, which is also a problem, problem a really big problem with carnivore diet. Stephanie, keto person, like she's a major keto promoter for the last like 15 years. Like, very and now he is too. So, like, how the hypocrite of the carnivore diet? And I listened to the interview, and all she was saying was like, "Well, the first two weeks is a bit of a bitch, so the induction phase, so kind of low energy, diarrhea. But once you oh, the diarrhea." Mm. I keep close to the bathroom. Get past the two weeks, you're pretty much good to go. And That's because your digestion doesn't work anymore. You know, so like it's getting rid of everything that actually functioned. And then it's like, I don't I don't know what to do with this. This is like that comrade, carnivore comrade or whatever the guy that did it. I did, did an interview with Durian Reiner. He took that video down. He was bragging about how he only took a shit like two or three times a week at, at best. What the hell happened? The last thing and the worst part of this whole thing has been in thesis, which is, it, I thought it was joint pain for the longest time, but it's not. It's actually inflammation of the tendons and ligaments around my- There's so much uric acid, urine, uric acid in meat, especially some fish, like 
Sharks, for example, they don't have a digestion, digestive system. So when you eat shark, you're eating everything. So the uric acid is going to destroy your life. My joints, so very specifically, in addition to the plantar fasciitis, in my left knee, my left back rib cage, my right shoulder, right hip, and right foot are in so much pain all the time. That's actually why I have now this cane is because it has become I mean, that might even, I, my, my lifting days has, have, has messed my skeleton up a bit. But I mean, if you watch my lives, I'm over here like this, you know, like a leaf in a wind because the pain that I go through from my lifting days, the keto days, the carnivore days, whatever, it's, it, it takes its toll. Um, so painful just to walk. With my emphasis, um, and the worst part is waking up in the morning and my back is just so stiff. It's but I like still do keto and carnivore. It takes me like 10 minutes to roll over in bed just to get out of bed and then I hobble into the bathroom. It's such a problem. It's like really painful. She clearly has gout like I did on the carnivore diet. Derek. Yes. Uh, and now he's reviewing Chicken somebody I just bones. interviewed. It was weird. And now she's all like super happy and plant-based and interesting. I never thought in a million years. But now her audience is pissed because she has a raw meat audience. Yeah, she said the same thing to me. And what's this one comment? When you were eating carnivore, I don't remember you being honest about any of the issues that you are now bringing up about it. So this And here's the thing. When you do actually bring up the issues, you get attacked hard, like super hard. So like most people don't do it. I mean, you see the comment section like you should. I should have left a lot of them comments up when I did that Sugar Joe Rogan video that I did. I, I don't know, like two weeks ago or whatever. I had to delete like 150 comments. Because people are so angry on carnivore and keto that they will attack you for anything. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. This video is talking about like all the terrible things she was feeling on the carnivore diet. But as she was carnivore and promoting it, she wasn't talking about a damn thing. It sounded like she was in perfect health. And mm -hmm. so other people are probably following it. And now she's like, yeah. Sorry, I had all these issues, a ton. But that's the problem with health. She's been carnivore for like three years. She has great skin. She has great potential. I just, I see the keto eyes in her. Yeah, you can see the, yeah. I mean, that is the thousand yard stare like they used to say from uh, people who were in Nam. It's, yeah, I, I had that too. Anyway, I think that's about it. People wanted me to talk about this uh, after I did the interview with Magda. Who was, uh, you know, who is raw slash regular carnivore. And, and, you know, she went through all of this. I went through it too. And I was on keto. And there was so much times where all I would eat was meat. So I can't kind of considered myself carnivore as well. I mean, all I would eat was like beef. I remember uh, sitting or standing out at the, the grill. And you should have seen all the supplements that I was taking at that time. They say that vegans need a lot of supplements. I mean, I was taking every stimulant known to man just to function. But I remember sitting out at my grill, and uh, I don't. It, it was one of the big Webers, and I would have the entire thing full of 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 uh, you know like steaks, and that was for like a day or two. It it I can't believe that I I like almost I can't almost believe that I survived that whole thing. But I did, and here we are. Anyway, that's the video. If you are on Carnivore and you're loving it, this is probably coming to you, coming to a theater near you. Like for me, I, I started you know, that life in 99 into 2000, and it really took till like 2008, 2009 before I really started noticing how bad it was. And once I came off of that, Everything started getting better, so I know it was the diet. Now, the things that I'm kind of still stuck with is some of the pain that I go through, uh, but that's probably from my lifting days. And I still have liver issues from some of that because I had really bad liver issues. My kidneys always hurt. It was, it, was, it was bad. At one point, I mean, I could not even stand. I remember there was one time when I was like deep in the, the keto carnivore. I... Laid down on the floor because my back was hurting so bad because my kidneys were hurting really, uh, like re were li really inflamed. And I remember this. It was late at night because, uh, of course, I couldn't sleep because who can on, on, on that life? 
you know, I, there's going to be people in here like, I sleep just fine. I sleep like a baby. Fine. Whatever. But a lot of people don't have don't have very good sleep on that. So I remember it was like three or four o'clock in the morning. I was up already because I just couldn't sleep. And my my kidneys were like swollen. I could feel it. So I laid on the, the floor to get some relief from this. And I realized I could not stand up. I was in so much pain. It took me 45 minutes to stand. I don't know what made me keep going on with the diet after that, but it was fairly shortly after that that I'm like this. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Anything else? Uh, leave down in the comments the questions down below. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.